It's amazing. Ichi Rich Ortiz versus John Choi's head again, once again. Now, this is the classic, but... Eh, you know what? I love John, uh, but how much does John actually play against Bros? I mean, let's be, let's be real. We know that John doesn't really play this game. Oh, it is going to be hard because I feel Rose is such a Shoto killer. Oh, yeah. So I, I feel like John's going to struggle in the long term. But right now, John is doing pretty well. Fundamentals, spacing. You know, he made Ricky walk into a few fireballs. Some great just you know, crouching meme kicks. Did he jump? Yep. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that, oh that was a DP. It's a DP. Oh, dear. All right, good tech at least. Trace fireball. Nope, throw. Oh, well. Three day, three day Rose. Three day Rose beating up the legendary John Choi who's been playing Ryu for how many years now? Dear God. Too many years. Too many years. They're showing how cheap this character is, Rose. As Mike Ross was saying earlier, as he could not stop saying earlier on stream, Rose is cheap. Rose is uh, cheap. And a little brain dead. Yeah, like I said, I, I did the math. There's only very few things that you can beat, but you have to know what they are before you can beat them. And in this case, I don't think John really knows some of these gaps, some of the frame data. I just don't think the neutral game is where he's losing. He's not even yeah. losing in the pressure. Yeah. He just has a hard time finding Rose. Which, oh, that's, okay, great counter hit right there. But yeah. Minus six. Okay, gets the punish. Oh, the throw! John Choi, all right. Tying up 1 1. All right, very interesting match so far. If Ricky loses this, do you see Ricky going to some other character other than Rose? That's the question. You know what? This is on loser side now. I know she's you know she likes trying out new characters coming out here and just you know playing them the whole night. But I think it depends how much she really wants to stay in this. Oh, waste that bar there. Could have just went for the super straight up. Or saving, saving it for later. And see how well she's doing overall? I don't know. I think she might just stick with it. Oh, uh, but there's a big conversion to Ultra. John Choi gonna be up a really good life and corner pressure. Oh, minus six to straight up DP that, please. Oh my god, uppercut. where's the uppercuts? Where's the soul throw? Alright, be careful. Ricky with the meter. Where's that? Oh, that's exactly the EX soul drill. We'll take it. <sighs> Smart stuff. We saw her save that meter. We knew that's all she was looking for. Fireball could go through it. Hashtag Rose is cheap. Hashtag Rose is cheap. What are you gonna do against that? Seriously, uh, even even if John empty jumps, would have died. No, oh yeah, everything beats everything. Hundred percent lose situation. Oh. Okay. Here we go. John Choi still has that core pressure, and he seems to be keeping really good fireball pressure going right now. It's spacing. Like there, three fireballs in a row. Yeah, that fireball game from John is just oh, the most great dangerous sweep. thing. And look at like like John will take that step back after that fireball to bait that slide. Oh my god, finishes with the overhead. John Choi had a very great round right there, keeping it going, keeping the momentum. Yeah. This is the momentum he needed. And hopefully he keep riding it and come back 1-1 so against Ricky. I'm super distracted right now. Is that Corona Trigger in the background of our headsets? I don't know. I I'm hearing it very clearly on my headset for some reason. I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping out. Anyways, John, <laughs> John with another lead coming into the second game in the second round. Already though, He's found something in the usual game that's changed it up, and maybe Ricky doesn't know the answer or whatever. Well, it's a certain positioning. Look, look where, where he is. It's oh yeah, a little bit past half, um, half screen. A little bit past that, and because of that particular spacing, it's what I would consider his sweet spot right now. And you can't slide with Rose because it gets sweeped like, like that. that's right there. Like right also, when I was it's also it. so close enough that you can't react with the uh, Fletcher. Exactly. The fireball game. And Choi's doing such a good job of at least Fact holding is, that range. Fact is, if John threw a, a jab fireball from that range and Rose went for the EX spiral, that's the EX spiral won't hit and will get hit by the really? fireball. Yeah. Wow. And this is I've, te I've tested this so. John actually recognized the spacing without even playing the character, <laughs> by the way. John is smart enough to recognize that sweet wait, spot and then wait. use it. Ricky Relento? on Relento, yes. Have we seen Relento play? I've seen, it, I've seen Ricky play Relento many times, so okay. I'm not surprised. Okay. Now, maybe she doesn't show Relento as much in like these tournaments, but if you see her play at like MGL no, okay. or like uh, at the other casual sessions, she does play a lot of Relento, so... You know what, we saw Toy had actually a hard time against Rosa earlier when he played against LPN. Yeah. Because just, uh, I mean, very care about Pacific, and he just probably doesn't have that experience. Mm 
Now, of course, uh, Ricky and LPN play very, very different. Oh, uh, extremely right. Styles. Or you see, Ricky just already played much more calm than LPN would. LPN would already be for your face ten times over at this point. Good tech. Oh, goes to that slide. Very, very uh, high risk, low reward move. Oh my god! You know what? A choice saying, oh, you're gonna click out the character I don't know? Doesn't matter. Oh I'm still goodness. gonna win. Yeah. Yeah, Ricky's not looking too hot right now with Valento. Right, this is the go on to Grand Finals. Choi is looking like he might be the one to go on and challenge LPN in Grand Finals. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't think that was going to hit. Yeah, good trade. That was very nice. Very wow. much so in John's favor. And John just looking in complete control at this point. Ricky needs a good momentum shift right now for Relento, which one knockdown can give her. And this is Relento we're talking about. Like the guy with one of the most terrible wake up options in the yeah. game. Hey, got a slight buff in 1.04, but still pretty, really, really, really bad. Yeah, I mean, it's only minus 5 now on block if he goes for the EX air raid. Oh! Or there we go! Goes over the fireball, gets the ultra 2, and look at this damage, guys. It's gonna be so much damage. That's gonna hurt, and it does. Oh, oh my wow. god, the mix ups! This is that punish, minus 4. Mm -hmm. This uppercut. Oh, trades! At this point, Ricky will be more than willing to go for any trade. Uh huh, and that'll take her the round. What's Troy gonna do? What, is, what are his options here? I mean, I think it's the fireball game now until Ricky gets that one meter is pretty good. Maybe we have to watch out for the. Oh, exactly that! I didn't get to say it. I didn't see the mirror get built. Yep, the EX knives uh, is, has invincibility throughout the entire animation. So you can hop over the like. fireball, and at least even, even, even if he does it really late, get chip. Yep. Oh, Ricky, this time in control. What's gonna happen? This is pretty interesting. I can't tell who's gonna win at this point because this momentum has gone back and forth several times. Oh my god. Great conversion though from Choi. Oh, that's that. Oh my god, and stun. Huge damage up to come out here. Oh! The full juggles taking that. Where did that damage come from? Uh, oh my god. John Choi showing why he's John Choi. <laughs>